right here. So uh, we are ready to do our placement of our pole generators. Um, this is a little bit of a um, template I follow, and you can see why as I go. Um, so I use eight coal generators and three water extractors. Uh, we do a manifold with the coal uh, feed running in. A coal is over here at these uh, nodes, and we're going to hook foundations up to run that down. Um, and this is a 6 by 11 uh, foundation platform. That's 6 that way, and that's 11 that way. And I'm going to place some items in some very specific spots and show you how to make it easy to line things up. Uh, and it all makes sense as I go. So starting off down here, I'm going to put a split up here uh, and I want to send, we're sending the coal towards the water because the coal is coming down from here and it's going to go here and go to each coal plant along here. Then I'm going to use a conveyor lift in the air and then another conveyor lift back down again. And we have this gap through here, and this will make a lot of sense soon. Then the tick comes along and annoys us like there's no tomorrow, but that's okay. If you want to get rid of him, just shoot him and he'll run away. See, there he goes. Now I bring up a pole generator, and what I'm going to do is I'm lining up. You can see as I line the coal generator up with this... Um, the downwards uh, of the vertical conveyor lift, that's the position I want it to be in. It won't actually connect right now when you do this. You'll have to re-add it, but that's okay. Then the reason why I'm following this method is because when we get up on top of here and I pick the, uh, we're going to use what we call the pipeline junction crosses. I place one here, we can see it had a line going to the, uh, the water input, but also this is the perfect alignment for the water to go through here. And it, this makes it very easy to, to set this up. So now that I've templated this here, I can just copy the generator and using the alignment, remember the green line that you can see there in the middle? So, so I need seven more. That's two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you'll notice like the position this is on that halfway on the foundation here. And then when we go all the way down here, I think it'll be very similar. It is halfway on the foundation. So the next thing is, uh, we're going to build very quickly in the center here. Uh, a lookout tower. Uh, I really do like lookout towers for building. They do help. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Uh, this pipeline junction cross and see that lines up with the one we had and the one we're going to then we can do the same again and then we can do the same again so we're using all of these really easy to do things uh, from a height And then uh, I'm actually going to do these. While I'm up here like this. And then I'm going to come down here. And we just need to put another one of these in line each way. And we just remember that feeds in this way. And feeds in. Feeds in. This first, uh, one is not connected. The reason I know it's not connected 
If you hold a conveyor cable, it goes in for a join. But I don't want to waste time doing that. That joined, and you know it's joined, because now it doesn't go in for a join. So I haven't had to waste any time. All I need to do now to do the remaining is that, that, maybe not that one. That's probably the wrong spot. But you can see I'm not having to run lifts and belts and those combinations of things. And then our water will be the same thing we just connect. Our water is going to be, it's almost, this is also a, now, let me stand back. That's very hard to do it from that position. You can go up higher. It can be a bit easier to do it like uh, so. takes a bit of practice to learn where the alignments are, but you can go through and hook all this up relatively, you know, I can't see those ones, so you can just jump over and that's the other thing, you can do it from on top of the, we can do it down here, I mean hey, I'm not judging anyone. And that one to there, that one to there. And this one to here. Uh, and then the pole generators, um, I'm not going to go into the maths behind it right now, but for normal pole and eight generators, you need uh, 120 coal a minute uh, coming down this line. So what we'll do is we'll just put for all these connections here, mark two, Guess what? We've run out, but the great thing is I've got a supply of Mark II over here. Um, let's go here, grab those as well. And I think we've got enough pipes. Yep, very good. Pop a sheet, I mean. So. That one to there, and to there. Now, there are many ways to do this. But the whole point of using the conveyor lift and conveyor lift is it provided a very nice path for the water to go through. These snap to the foundations, so it's very easy to align them. Um, and yeah, 